Hey everyone, it's Sarara and I scribble and today we're doing art like it's 2004. Well, basically we're doing art the way I did art when I first started out doing art. That was a sentence with many arts in it. Um, also this is a very whispery commentary because it is very late and uh, I hope you can forgive me. I um, I have bought a new camera. I just need to. I have bought my new camera. It shall be with me next week. Probably not by Monday, but I'll definitely have it by Thursday. So, I just like to say thank you to uh, those of you who stopped by my Etsy store, I bought something, and left nice comments like that. That made my day. Thank you so much for helping out. It meant a whole lot, and. Um, I've gotten a few more pieces for the giveaway, so um, that is coming along nicely. Hopefully I get to do it before October starts. Okay, some background on how I started doing my art. Uh, I didn't have a tablet, I had a scanner, and I had Photoshop 4 or 6. I think it was 6. Yeah, that was. those were my tools. A scanner and uh, Photoshop 6, I think. It was... it's almost 15 years ago, okay? I cannot remember everything. But the way I used to do art is that I drew on paper and then I would ink it using a CD-ROM pen because they had a really fine point. But I was using printer paper so it bled like crazy. Uh, I mainly used the black and blue colors because they were the darkest. I think I did some in like green or red ones and it just disaster. Um, so I am doing, uh, I'm using the same techniques as I did back then, but I'm implementing better tools and newer skills. So what I did after the line art was done, I scanned it in and then I went looking for old examples of how I did digital art and basically I would, um, I put grayscale on, mess around with the levels till the line art was very, very clean. Then I would um, cut out the background. First I cleaned this up, of course, but f I would cut out the background, cut out all the white uh, using the contagious option on the magic wand. And then I would um, select all of the black using the contagious and then I would fill in all the black to clean up all the white specks around the liner. It, it's, it was a very complicated process but it was a very easy one for the time and after that I would use the magic wand to select my areas to color and then I would color them in using the paint bucket. Now in the very beginning I would just do flat colors but I figured um, I wanted to do some shading too, so I looked into the way I used to do shading and uh, I was horrified <laughs> because I used to take a second layer, put it above the colored one of course, and I would turn the opacity down to 30% and then I would use black to shade. Terrifying. Um, so I decided that I wouldn't do that because I know better now, but I would still use the uh, technique, sort of. So I went for the gradient tool, which was a tool I used a lot as well. And I put my shadows in using that. I should also point out, I didn't have a tablet back then, so I am not using a tablet for this illustration. I am doing this whole thing using my mouse. Uh, so that was really interesting and kind of liberating in a way. Um, but yeah, I went in with some very bold shadows, added some blush to give the drawing more life. Uh, I did the eyes using the brush. That was not selection tool worthy, but that was my main uh, way of uh, processing my art back then. It was magic wand, paint bucket, uh, possibly some smudge burn and dodge. Burn and dodge came later though. I should do like a second edition of this for when I got my uh, tablet because I used different techniques back then too. I used different techniques entirely when I was doing Photoshop um, compared to now when I'm using Psy. 
but yeah, so I just tried to make really nice art while still implementing, implementing only the tools I had back then. So I did a gradient on the hair and I added a bit of highlight on that. In between the highlight and this gradient though, I realized uh, I had forgotten about the smudge tool. I had forgotten a lot of things. It took me a really long time to find good um, references for my old style because what I would do back then was that when I was finished with the drawing, I would merge all the layers and save it as a PSD like that. And that sort of completely defeats the purpose of even saving the PSD because, hey, you can't really do any editing if you merge all the layers. So I really had to go scouring for um, references. I did find my very first attempt at digital art that was the one with Sonic in it. and. Um, uh, I also found another one where I'd done uh, colors below the line art. I also used to do colors above the line art a lot, I noticed. I don't know why, because it was transparent. Um, either way, this illustration is finished and I had a lot of fun trying to remember how I actually used to do this. It was an adventure. So uh, yeah, how did you use to do art before you got the tools you have now? I'd love to know. Leave it in comments down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please do if you haven't, take a moment to subscribe. You can hit that button, join in for more fun art videos. You can also check out my social media, links to those will be down below, as well as to my Etsy and my Redbubble store. Check those out if you'd like. Until next time, keep on scribbling, friends. Bye!